Hi, I'm Mike with Dead Air, and today I would like to speak with you about a subject maybe you've had a hard time talking to your children and loved ones about, and that is different ways to attach silencers to host firearms. Maybe together we can make that a little bit of an easier subject to broach. So basically you have direct thread, and then we have direct thread centerfire handgun, which takes a piston. I'd like to take a moment to kind of explain how that works to everybody. And then we have QD. People call it QA for quick attach, but I've always referred to it as QD for quick disconnect. And then we have a, this is a fixed barrel handgun, chambered in 22 long rifle, so it would kind of apply to the same manner as the other fixed barrel centerfire handguns, but it's a direct thread minus the piston. And then we have three lug here on this little guy, and we'll kind of go over a little bit of three lug action. This is direct thread with a little bit of a detent lock on it, so it's the same idea, but with a little bit of a different take. So we're gonna thread this Wolverine on, and it is going to shoulder on the muzzle of this AK. When it does that, you've got a collar that will find a notch on that pin right there. So now I'm gonna tighten down the can and the collar and this locking collar all kind of together with each other. Now that is direct thread, but it is being held on from coming loose by the detent pin that came with the rifle. So that's kind of a fun way to direct thread. You could do that without that collar at all if you chose to as well, same thing. Now let's take a look at centerfire handgun with a link down barrel. You can put a fixed mount, fixed barrel spacer, three lug, QD mount, what have you, into this ghost. But I think the normal way that works most of the time for centerfire handgun with, like I say, the link down barrel is, you've got this piston that's actually gonna actuate and the spring's gonna push it back to battery. So this piston will go in here and put this cap on. Now these will, this is again going to be another kind of direct thread version. When that's tightened down, as it recoils, that piston is going to shoot out of there and aid in letting the slide go all the way back to the stop. And kind of a little bit of an explanation, kind of quick maybe, but piston. Now let's do the same thing for fixed barrel. This barrel does not link down, it stays in place. This little mask and Beretta 71 combo. All ready to go there. Super simple, not much to that. This is our QD mount. So this is a chemo mount. It's actually pretty simple, but it only goes on one way. So it won't slide past any other way, but this way, so it gets, it orients the stack the same way each time. Once it goes on to the lugs, the first little bit of movement is going to lock the locking lugs on the collar to the muzzle device. And then the locking collar and can are threaded together and it's going to pull that down to a taper. There is a visual indication of the status of tightness on a dead air key mount. So when it first, if it starts to come loose or when it first is being taken off, the locking collar and the can will move together. Now, if it were super hot, you could just look down there and see that those lugs are not laying up against the pocket arrow. To remove it. Uh -huh. And then three lug. Three lug is very common on a fixed barrel type of sub gun, PCC. A lot of people use it on a 
300 black chamber rifle per se, but mostly you see it on things like this. There's a piston that's spring loaded in there now. I'm gonna push the can back and unlock that piston. There's three lugs that are going to turn out of the way and then slide into those slots and three lug. Thank our friends at HK for making that. All right, I hope that helped you talk with your kids about that a little bit so you're kind of all on the same page. I know it's kind of an adult subject, but there you have it. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll personally answer that for you.